Histamine intolerance can cause or contribute to reflux in a number of ways. But what is histamine intolerance? The name can be a little misleading or at least confusing. It refers to a condition where your body has an excessive amount of histamine built up, either because of overproduction or because of difficulty breaking it down. This could be because of a deficiency in the enzyme DAO or diamine oxidase, which is the enzyme that breaks down histamine. Breakdown of histamine can also be affected by things like hormone imbalances, particularly high estrogen, uh, leaky gut, bacterial imbalances, and even certain medications. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video about gut health and reflux solutions. So histamine is found in many foods and it's also produced in the body in response to things like allergens, viruses, bacteria, and injury. If there's too much histamine built up in the body, it can cause allergy-like symptoms like congestion, watery eyes, headaches. It can also cause skin issues and digestive issues, which is what we're gonna focus on here. So how does this excess histamine relate to reflux? Number one, damaged mucosal barrier and inflammation in the esophagus. So the mucosal barrier is a layer of cells that lines the GI tract and it provides protection from things like acid. Excess histamine can cause inflammation in this lining, making the esophagus more susceptible to and more sensitive to damage from acid. Number two, changes in GI motility. Histamine can affect the contractions and movements through the GI tract, slowing down stomach emptying. This can cause an increase in the amount of pressure that's put on the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES. Speaking of which, number three is changes in LES pressure. Some studies have shown that excess histamine is associated with a relaxed LES. Other studies show pressure changes, both positive and negative, in response to histamine. You probably already know that a relaxed or open LES allows stomach contents to move upward instead of downward. Number four is dysbiosis or altered gut microbiome. Too much histamine can cause changes in gut bacteria, which then leads to inflammation and can cause excess gas and pressure in the intestines, which can lead to reflux. And number five is increasing food triggers. One of the biggest mysteries for a lot of people with reflux is pinpointing which foods are triggers for them. It's not always what you would expect and sometimes it changes. Well, certain foods like fermented foods, aged meats and cheeses, and certain fruits and vegetables can increase histamine levels and cause reflux symptoms. This isn't because the foods themselves are bad, it's just that our bodies aren't able to break down the amount of histamine that is being taken in. If you address the underlying histamine intolerance, then these foods generally stop being a trigger for reflux. Let me know in the comments below, have you heard of histamine intolerance? Are you watching this video because you suspect that that's what's going on with you? Or is this a totally new idea for you? So the big question now is, how do we fix histamine intolerance? You'll probably want to avoid high histamine foods at least for a little while. So if you've been eating foods like sauerkraut and kombucha for gut health, you may want to take a break from those for a little bit. It also might help to take some natural antihistamines like vitamin C, quercetin, and bromelain. You may remember that I mentioned the enzyme DAO as our body's natural way of breaking down histamine. To boost your DAO production, you want to focus on intake of healthy fats and proteins. Protein intake is associated with increased DAO, possibly because it stimulates the release of gastrin, which then promotes the production of DAO. Other things that can help are omega-3 and healthy saturated fats like olive oil, butter from grass-fed cows, um, avocado, and fatty fish. Another thing that can help is addressing vitamin and mineral deficiencies, in particular vitamin B12. There was a study done in Japan with 34 healthy women, and they wanted to assess the effect that nutrients had on DAO activities. So these women were given minerals and B12, and the study found that their DAO activity increased when they were taking these supplements. There are a lot of different things that contribute to or cause reflux, and histamine intolerance is just one of them. So if you're ready to learn more and be empowered to address the underlying causes of reflux yourself, you'll find a link in the description box below to my calendar. You can sign up for a call and we can chat to see if you're a good fit for my Reflux Relief Academy.